What's up everybody? Coming right back at you with another video. In this video I'm going to be making a polymer clay cane of a ladybug. I'm going to make the image of a ladybug. So check this out and see how I go about making a ladybug cane. Don't forget to like the video and I do hope you enjoy. To make a ladybug cane or really any image you have to start off with a design. So I'm going to go off of this ladybug I made like over a year ago. It's a very basic design and I think I can manipulate the clay to make this image. Um, it's basically just a round red circle and a black circle with a little black dots and um, two white dots for the eyes. And it does have a black slit going down, you know, to divide the wings. But that's just, that's all you do when you make a cane. You just try to break down the image into just the shapes that you're going to be using. And that's what I'm going to make out of clay using this as a guide. I'm going to be using a full pack of cadmium red hue, about a third of a pack of black, and roughly five ounces of white. I'm going to base the whole size of this cane off of however much the red gives me when I make a cylinder out of it. I roll out a black snake, nice and long, and I try to make it about the thickness that I want each of the black spots to be. And then I cut them into six equal pieces and this turns out to be two inches so the cane is actually going to be two inches thick and then I um, I shape the whole block of red into a cylinder then I take my knife here and I make a mark in the middle and then I make three more marks going across each of those marks will be where the, the dots wind up and then I take my stylus tool and I make a little dent on each line where I want those dots to be. Once I got that all figured out I just cut each of those dots in half basically cut on the line and then I use my knife again to make a mark going all the way through you know a straight line for me and I cut those out with using a little cutout tool. That's a homemade tool. I have a video on how to make homemade tools but once I get that cut out I take two of those black strips and I put it back in there and basically it allows it to sink down halfway which is really all I need um, and that just keeps it from getting fl flattened when I mash these together it'll have its round shape and that's what you want you want you want to keep that round shape so I keep doing this with the rest of the pieces until all of them are all the spots are in there I then cut all the little excess pieces off with a little palette knife that way nothing's sticking out on both sides. Once that's done I'm ready to slice it right down the middle as evenly as I can. And Then I roll out a piece of black and kind of flatten it out with a little polymer clay roller and I set half of this down here on it and I, I let it hang over just a little bit. I don't know if you've seen that because there's a little indent at the bottom where the red kind of hangs lower than the black I made sure to try to follow that and then I just put the other side on there line it up really good and then cut the excess off using my little knife and that is basically the body of the ladybug it doesn't get any more complicated than that the ladybug's body is done now right now I'm showing you how you can make you a cylinder and once you get it the size you want you cut it out but I forgot to film so I'll show you here uh, to make the eyes, all, all you do is you cut down the side of this cylinder and then you can put your white pieces in there. Uh, once you're done with that, you wrap it with one sheet of clay to ensure that both white spots are completely closed and you know surrounded by black. To get this enclosed in white, I'm working with a two inch strip starting off because remember I built I'm building this whole thing based off of two inches and I'm using just a little spade tool to try to work it in I'm wanting to follow the contour of the the ladybug as best I can and then right here I'm just cutting like a triangular piece with that cut that um that tissue slicer just I'm matching the contour that I need to fill in those areas where the head and the body connect. Cutting out two more slices and kind of tapering them off a little bit or evening them out with the roller and I'm just putting one thick 
quick layer around this, but it's if you notice it's oblong because it's not a true circle. There is a the head is a circle and the body is a circle, but they're both sharing the same space. So that causes it to look like an oval. To make this look like a circle again, I'm going to have to cut like what I wind up doing is cutting two large blocks of clay right right here and I pinch them to where it sh it forms like a tapered just a sheet of clay but tapered really thick in the middle and kind of tapered on the ends and once I get it done I, I roll that out a little bit too to kind of make it more uniform and I put that on either side of that image and what, what that does it makes it round again because it's just I don't know it's just something I saw I had to do to make this round and then you can always go back like this and cut excess off once you're once you're done to try to shape it shape it because you want it as round as possible so when you reduce it it looks you know how you intend it to look but this is pretty much it this is how I made the ladybug cane and it turned out amazing I, I really appreciate you guys for checking this out uh, it means a lot and um, let me know what you think uh, did this help you figure out how to maybe go about making ladybug king does it seem simple um, I do hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below and please 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 don't forget to like the video because that's super awesome I really appreciate all the support y'all guys give me thank you so much for watching this until next time I'll see you here again soon